Okay. Hi, I'm Yan Chen. Today, my friend Yu Shen and I are going, are going to teach you how to do handline fishing. There are many, many types of fishing methods. Some people fish with nets, with fishing rods, and some people fish with just, just the fishing line. The, the, the type of fishing method selected depends on, on the conditions of the river and the surroundings. For example, at this river, the water is deep, where there's a drain draining, draining out into the la larger river. The water is deep over here, so we can fish directly with a fish line. And this method is called hand line fishing. And if you're standing at a slope over there, the water there may not be as deep as over here, where, where the big, the smaller drain is draining out into the bigger drain. So if you are standing there, you need to use a fishing rod to reach out into the deeper waters. If you are using hand line fishing, the line may not be deep enough to reach into the deeper, deeper waters where, where, the fishes will, uh, where the fishes will be. So, so if you are over there, you will need a fishing rod. Hi, my name is Yi Xuan. Uh, today we are at this, uh, this place called Sambawang Longkang Park. Mm -hmm. It is a great place for people to fish. Okay, uh, to fish you need equipment. Now we have the basic equipment for line fishing, hand line fishing. So, this is the first thing we need, hand lines. Which is basically uh, a reel of line that you can, a reel of fishing line that you can hold in your hand. There are different sizes, this one is uh, very small so you can carry uh, easily around. This thing called swivel it is used to connect to the fishing line. Contrary to what many people think, the fishing line is not connected directly to the fishing hook because it's very stiff. And if it's connected directly to the fishing hook, the stiffness will cause the hook to look very artificial. So we use the swivel, which is very, very agile, uh, and we connect the fishing line to the swivel. So it can, can be less stiff and the swivel is uh, then connected to another kind of fishing line that is very very soft and it's this kind of line that we use to connect to the uh, to the to tie to the fishing hooks uh, this line is very soft but very 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 hard uh, no, very very strong not very hard it's very soft but very strong uh, so it's very expensive. That's why we can't use this kind of line as the, uh, to, to, to make this, this wheel. And uh, in this same line, we have another thing called the weight. We just we, we tie this weight to this thing, this soft line. The weight is basically used to, to sink the hook into the water. Otherwise, the hook will be, uh, as you can see, the hooks here are very small. So they will possibly float out the water. So we have to use the weight to make the, 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 the hook sink. But if we have the weight, then the hook will sink all the way down, which doesn't make sense. And so we need to suspend the hook in the water. And we have this thing called the float. Float, we will just clip it onto the fishing line. These are the fishing, different types of fishing hooks. There are many, many kinds of sizes for different fishes. Now is the most, uh, one of the most crucial and uh, difficult steps in, in uh, preparing a fishing line. Uh, how to tie a hook to the fishing line. Uh, you have to choose a hook that is uh, suitable for the type of fish you're fishing. Uh, and the rule is very simple. Small hook, big fish, big hook. Okay, uh, to demonstrate to you how to tie a, a fishing line to the hook, I will use a bigger hook. And I will not use this line, I will just use the convention, the normal type of fishing line to teach you how to, to, how to tie the hook. First, you see there is a hook here, uh, there is a hole here. I have to go through the hole and uh, make a loop. Twist the line with the, the original line that went, goes through the hook, the hole, and the loop. Try to tie them together.
uh, twisting, 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 twisting all the way to the top, to the bottom of of the fishing hook. So once you reach there, uh, you have to pull this out. Pull this on. Oh shit! Fail. I'll try again. Actually, need baits because this this already acts as, as some kind of a bait. So we, we, since we have got some fish, we will just add the fish. A little bit will do. Depending on the depth of the water, to attach the, the float. Now we have gotten the fishing line ready. Now we will cast, cast the fishing line into the water over here. In some places, you need to throw, throw you can throw the fishing line into the water. But, but over here, we have, we have a lot of hooks and we have to wait over here, so it's in, inconvenient to throw it, throw it outwards into the water. So we will lower it slowly into the water. Okay, now now we will lower the fishing line slowly into the water. Now you unreal, unreal the line slowly. the line fishing line into the water we must tight, tighten and straighten the line after that we'll wait wait until there's a twinge on the fishing line which should you signal that that a fish has come on the up onto the fishing hook Okay, stop. Uh, hi, I'm Yan Chen. Today? Hey, hold on. Uh, we, we can, we can. I'll try again. So, for, even for big hooks, it's so difficult. So, 